Thanks for coming out, guys. Hey, I got an idea for your light mode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have them so the actual lights, you can change the color on the light. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's uh, <laughs> I get that request every day. Yeah. Uh, but that's uh, LED. See, so this is LED tech. Yeah. You can do it with LEDs, yeah. but this is electroluminescent tech. So it's this totally different manufacturing method. But if I can figure out a way to make this nice and sleek, like I'll definitely give it a shot. Well, I figured it out. In case you missed last week's video, I spent the last year and a half designing, prototyping, and testing an app-controlled RGB LED kit for helmets. Well, technically it could be used for other things like backpacks or gaming PCs. Maybe I should do a video on that. Anyways, today I'm going to be showing you how to install the new night shift on uh, uh. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install the new night shift on an AGV Pista. Let's go. Oh shit, I forgot my GoPro. I'll, ah. Let's go. These are the components that are included in the night shift. You've got, first and foremost, the controller. So the night shift controller is actually a little bit improved, uh, a little bit, I should say, a lot improved over the previous gen. It's about 25% thinner. It's got the same battery, but it's more efficient, so the battery life is longer. And on top of that, the entire system is much brighter than the previous gen. Next, we got your mount, but this is the same as the previous gen. We got a couple extra adhesives in case we need for later. We got extension wires, we got two long ones, two short ones, a USB charging cable, alcohol prep pad, light mode decals in case you want to rep the squad, and of course, your two night shift LED strips that are mirrored so that you get a nice symmetrical look on both sides of the helmet. Let me just move all this aside and get started. So we start with a simple clean with the alcohol prep pad. So we've got these alcohol prep pads, tampons, the alcohol antiseptique, in case you don't speak French. So you just want to clean the area that you're going to be sticking the light strips on. So I'm putting them up here. Nice little wipe down. It's already pretty clean. I'm not pressing too hard. I don't want to scratch the helmet. I am just gently rubbing the alcohol around the side of the helmet. Next, let's clip the controller to the mount and find a good spot to mount it to. So we're gonna clip that on. Then we're gonna take an LED strip and plug it into one of the ports. We'll actually do this port. And then we find a spot. I want it kind of close to the spoiler, but not so much when I'm, I'm you know, pinching it right here, but just enough like right around the right around there. If that's in the middle, then this guy's gonna be around here and end up around there. Hmm, what a coincidence, it just fits perfectly. That's because I used the AGV Pista as one of my helmet models when I was designing this night shift. So if you have an AGV Pista, you can be guaranteed that it's gonna fit really well. Once you're happy with the positioning, you can go ahead and peel off the 3M backing from the mount. Don't press too firmly, just nice and light in case you want to reposition the controller later. The adhesives on the night shift LED strips are stronger than the previous gen kits, so pay attention. Now, I know what you guys are thinking, is that gonna damage my helmet? No, it's not gonna damage your helmet, so don't worry about that. What we don't wanna do is stick it, unstick, stick, unstick, stick, unstick too many times because then some of the adhesive under the LED strips might stick to your helmet and then you're gonna just waste time picking it off with your nail. Not a big deal, but it's a bit of an inconvenience. Pro tip, peel, hey! Peel off a section of the backing and use it to anchor your LED strip to your helmet while you gradually peel off the backing and stick the light strip from one side to the other. Now, I don't wanna push firmly everywhere just yet, just in case I wanna reposition later. So let's go ahead and do the other side. And that's it. Let's go take a look. Let's go take a look at it in the dark. All right, so to turn on your night shift, you basically just hold the power button on, turns on, 
Here we see an acid green color. It's on the solid mode. To change the animations or colors, well, to change the colors, actually, you could simply just press this button a few times and it cycles through the hues. If you wanted to pair it to the phone, here's the light mode app. We first put the night shift in pairing mode. You do a short press followed by a long press and hold. Now you see the blue green flashing. Oh, I'm trying to do this. Let me set this down. Then you go to the app and you press connect. It's gonna be searching. Oh, there, it found the controller. So now I can change the animation to technetium. This is a cool one. So it's got like a flickering, glittery, whatever you want to call it, sparkle. There's also fireball. It kind of looks like little Mario, you know, his little fireballs come on like pew, 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 pew. So like I mentioned earlier, I used the AGV Pista as one of my helmet models when I designed the shape of this night shift LED strip. For those wondering, I also used an Icon Air Flight. I used the Ruler Rock Atlas, AGV K3, K5, Arai Vector 2, Next XR2, and a Sedici Strata and a few other helmets. So I've, I've used quite a few helmets to make the best universal design that would fit on the most helmets. So if you have any one of those helmets that I just mentioned, then you can rest assured that it'll fit just fine. Switched it to a nice purple. And I want, what am I doing here? Ugh, I think I gotta, man, this is bad. <laughs> this is so bad. You guys don't know, but I'm doing like a hundred takes of this and I'm just, I'm just trying to show it to you. For fuck's sakes, I spent so much time making this and now I'm trying to like present it to you in the perfect fashion and I, I'm on like take number 62 here. Look, there's an app, there's a helmet, and there's light strips, all right? You use the app, change the colors to whatever the heck you want. All the animations change to any color. So light it up how you want. Now let's fast forward to the evening so I can show you guys what this looks like at night. <laughs> 